Uh, REV, for many years, uh, gives a Renewable Energy Legislative Champion Award. Um, it's given to an individual, typically in the Vermont legislature, but not always, that has worked hard to further renewable energy policy in the state. And in case some of you didn't notice, REV intentionally, for the first time in our history, did not issue a Renewable Energy Legislative Champion Award in 2017. And I think um, uh, many of you here, I see some smiles, some nods, some laughing, no why. Um, but thankfully, we had several members step up this last year, in 2018, and we're grateful for that. Um, and so we had a, a, a quite um, uh, several nominations and a lot of thought by the board that went into this recognition. And it's my great honor and pleasure to recognize the 2018 recipient of the Renewable Energy Legislative Champion Award to Representative Mike Antochka from Charlotte, who's with us here today. Make your way up, Mike. So, um, Representative Antochka has consistently um, work to move Vermont's renewable energy progress forward as a member of the House Energy and Technology Committee, um, a member on the Legislative Committee on Administrative Rules, you all may know it as LCARP from some of my calls, um, and on the Climate Caucus. Most recently, um, you know, during the last legislative session, he um, was one of the many members, but also was pushing behind the scenes. You know, sometimes people push behind the scenes, sometimes people push in front of the scenes, sometimes they do both, and um, it takes a team to get things done, um, but making sure that the federal Volkswagen settlement funds um, were, were going towards electric vehicles um, to reduce, he sponsored legislation to reduce uh, the fees to make it um, more affordable to have solar in our built environment on our rooftops and um, cut through some of the red tape that was not intended um, in our preferred sites for um, local renewable energy. Um, and many other things which I'm going to let him uh, tell you a little bit about before um, before we do our little photo op and, and you guys enjoy drinks. So, um, Thank you, Olivia. Um, I'm very honored to uh, be recognized uh, for the work that I've been trying to do. And uh, what Olivia said about takes a team, it's true. There are 180 legislators in the Vermont General Assembly and one legislator by him or herself can't do an awful lot. So uh, we have to work with other members and I'm very pleased to um, be a member of the Legislative Climate Caucus who um, is led by Mary Sullivan and can, is, uh, there, are, there are so many other members uh, of the legislature involved in that and together we can provide enough uh, impetus to get things done. So we understand the threat of climate change and this is not a problem that can be wished away. We can't just talk about it. We have to actually take action. We don't have the time to wait for another year or wait for the federal government to do something because the current government in Washington is not going to do anything. So we have to take, we have to with other states in our region and across the country, take steps this session to get legislation on the governor's desk to uh, reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and uh, transform our energy use to renewable energy, electricity, uh, renewable, electric, uh, renewable electric energy. So there we go. And we are going to do that. We will get a bill in front of the governor this year, uh, hopefully to uh, uh, include many of the innovative ideas that we heard here today um, that we can take back with us. And I think that's one of the, one, one of the wonderful things about a session like this is that we do hear a lot of new ideas that we wouldn't otherwise be exposed to. So thank you to Renewable Energy.